Some 50s and early 60s Edmonton rock and rollers led by Duano Sepchuk were prepping to do a live show celebrating the musical genius of former Edmonton artists, the late Wes Dacus and the Rebels. Wes Dacus is, uh, was our heroes back in the, back in the day of uh, early rock and roll in the 60s. Hey, this town was loaded with talent. But he was the king. If you're not 60, you probably don't remember <laughs> these guys, right? That's right, that's right. Uh, they packed the, the halls. They were absolutely the number one band in, uh, in uh, Western Canada. Uh, they were top uh, instrumental band back in 1964. Uh, for three years running, they, they were the Juno Award winners back in the day. Loved his instrumentals. That was what I, my first song I ever learned was Pink Canary, Bobby Clark. And um, it was uh, the biggest set in, in Edmonton. I mean, it was played all the time on CJC Rock and Roll Station. Barry Boyd and, and the guys, Jim Hand, Jim Holt, all those kind of guys. It was great stuff, and uh, so we're going to do that. It'll be December 3rd, 8.30 at the Leaf Pub, remembering the Rebels, West Dacus, Mo Marshall, Bob Clark, Barry Allen, and Stu Mitchell. I had some of the records, too. Never got a break in the States for, for whatever reason. Uh, Mo, Mo Marshall went on to play with the Champs. Yeah, they were better than the Guess Who at that time. Oh, absolutely. Randy Backman was no slouch. He had Lenny Bro teaching him, and uh, the Rebels were, they had the fireballs helping them out, and uh, just their musicianship was just fabulous. It was a competitive town, and they made it what it was. <laughs> see that kind of music again not the way it was presented yeah it should be a fun thing I mean if everybody out there wants to uh, hear some good old rock and roll we're gonna do it for you we're gonna do our best to to honor the great Wes Dacus That's it. 1959. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy. 